a couple weeks ago, my friend threw a Disney villain's birthday party. It was so much fun, we all got to come dressed as our favorite Disney villains. So I thought to myself, who should I go as? I could go as the nefarious Killian Jones, uh, or as you know him by his more colorful moniker, Hook. So I had a, a little bit of trouble with my first makeup test. It came out kind of ugly, I wasn't really a big fan of it. So I looked up a few makeup tutorials, and it was honestly kind of tough to find one that I really, really liked. So I thought to myself, let me make one for you guys. So I introduce you to the most basic, simple makeup tutorial you will see in your life. I am the farthest thing from a YouTube makeup guru. I don't do that much. This is this is my daily look. It's a little bit of eyeshadow, a lot of chapstick, a mascara. That's essentially it. I do go a little bit more if I'm doing something on stage for, for a play or something like that, or special occasions like Christmas. I like Christmas. I wear a lot of glitter on Christmas. Or something like, you know, rare. I just, I'm not a big, big makeup person. But I am a really, really big cosplay person. And so today I'd like to teach you a little bit about a very simple, very easy, you can do it with whatever's in your makeup bag, Killian Jones makeup tutorial. Let's get started. Okay. So I have washed my face, I have absolutely no makeup on right now. I know, big change from before, right? Haha. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with this stuff. There we go. First makeup tutorial, guys, give me a break. This this does like a foundation-y, concealer-y thing. It, it's great, it's good. You just take a little bit, woo, and it sprays everywhere apparently. So and then I put a little bit under each of my eyes and just kinda do that. Nice and simple. This is my fancy makeup stuff, you guys. This is what I do for like cosplays and fancy events, which I know I talked about in the beginning of this video, but you know. Do this with whatever you usually do this with. <laughs> I wish I had the gifts of people who could do this stuff. I really do, but you know what? Maybe, maybe in time, maybe in time. I'm gonna take my liquid eyeliner that I like, whoop, and all my stuff goes everywhere. I'll have to find my earring later. <laughs> yeah, so I've got this this Maybelline Master Graphic thing. You know, Maybelline Master Graphic by iStudio. There you go. This eyeliner, I kind of need a new one because when you take the lid off, that happens. It's annoying. It didn't used to be like that. I think I broke it when I. Okay, so then I'll just line this part of my eye, which I think is called your waterline. Seriously, if you want makeup expertise, you should probably talk to not me, but if you want easy, realistic, basic, something you can do with anything you've got in your makeup compartment, then you can talk to me, because that's my, that's my scene, guys. That's what I'm good at. So I line my waterline, and you want to make it, like, extra thick, okay? Hook has a lot of beautiful eyeliner on, and he always looks very dashing in it, I should say so. And it's cool if it gets a little sloppy, because honestly, like, you're just going to mess it up later. So, make it nice and thick and piratey. You want to look like you're about to pillage and plunder. Drink up me hearties, yo-ho. <laughs> My gosh. I, hmm. Yes, you can take this and do like the upper part of your eye thing. I'm assuming this is also called your like upper lash, upper waterline, whatever. So do the inside of your eye there. Like I'm telling you guys, the darker the better. It will look really, really cool. See, there's a difference. There's like a nice difference in my eyes. I mean, let's try to like get closer. Yeah. This one I did both of them, and this one I did the bottom so far, and you can tell because it's a mess, but whatever. Because it's gonna look messy later, so yeah, might as well. Yeah. Look at, look at these eyes. This one looks so much better than this one. Like, ah, makeup, yay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do the other one really fast. And again, dark, smoky. Etc. Guys, I can't overstate how much better it looks the more you put on it. So you're already on your way to looking like Hook, especially if you've got this necklace, which I found on Mercari. God bless. And uh, which actually I think is the closest replica to Hook's necklace. And this bracelet, which is from also Mercari, actually. I love Mercari. But anyway, yeah, good finds. And then this bracelet that my friend made for me because she's just awesome. All right. So you take your eye pencil and a couple q-tips and then you lean in and you draw this all around your lash line, like your actual lash line, to get that smoky Killian Jones look. So you want to look fierce guys, like you're taking over the Jolly Caribbean and your Jolly Rat Caribbean. This is once upon a time I get not pirates of the Caribbean. 
you know, and then do your eyeliner like there. It's okay to do it messy. Killian is a character who spends basically all his waking time in his eyeliner. So you gotta look like you do too. And his sleeping time, honestly. Like, I do not think this guy takes it off. Honestly, like, it's the best part of Once Upon a Time. I definitely came back for this last season because Hook was still there. I left a long time ago because I didn't like some of the writing. I didn't think it was going in a good direction. But I was happy when they did the reboot that Killian, or Colin O'Donoghue stayed. Ooh, that's really not, not cute. That's okay. He's a very talented actor, guys. He deserves his props. Like, he does a really good job with what they give him. And uh, I've enjoyed watching this new season so far. I'm a little behind. I think I have to watch one more before it comes back in March. Where am I? Well, oh, above my eye, yeah. All right. Am I cute yet? Am I, am I an adorable pirate yet? <laughs> no, I am a messy pirate right now. Let me try this again with my... All right, so that's fairly piratey, honestly. I'm gonna put a little more on here. That coal is good. It reflects the sun so it doesn't get in your eyes when you're on your ship, pillaging, plundering, living the pirate life. It's romanticized pirate life, obviously. So what you're gonna do next is take your Q-tip and you're gonna smudge it up. You're gonna let it have that lived in look. Yeah. Oh, that came out nice. Ooh. Look at that! Oh, look at my eye! I'm so proud of that! Okay, sorry. I was afraid, I've been like praying all day since I decided to do this one, because I've been planning to do this makeup tutorial for like a little while, but like, as you have obviously heard me say about 50 million times, makeup tutorials are not my strength. This needs a little more. So I've been praying that I won't screw up. So the Lord is really good, and so far it's been really great. God bless. So thank you, Jesus. Let's do a little more eyeliner up here because I kind of took off a little too much. My face was a mess right there. It's okay. I don't know if I said the name of this one. This is just like a wet and wild brow and eyeliner pencil. It's black. Black makeup, guys. It's the way to go. It's the one you want to use. So smudgy smudge. Make it look good. All right. And you can like kind of drag it. Well, yeah, drag it out a little bit. Make yourself look. You don't want to go full on Jack Sparrow with this, but you do want to be Killian Jonesy. That's, that's the whole point. Hey, here we go. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. You take this brush and you take brown eyeshadow. You take it and you just kind of bring it around in here. And you, oh wow. That was a cloud of makeup. You need to look like you've been on a ship and like you're dirty and you're suntanned. So you need to put it on your brows, on your face, rub it, just rub it in. Let yourself look like you've been living on your vessel. So be very generous with your beautiful brown eyeshadow with this stuff. Beyond your neck, I know from a lot of tutorials that I've actually watched that that's important to blend it into your neck and it will give the look that you're really going for. I'm just gonna splash on a little more because I want to look like a pirate. I don't know if it even shows up on camera very well. Here, how's that better? I hope this video doesn't become like three hours long, guys. I'll try to cut it down, I promise. Okay, right, so bring it up a little around your eyes, especially. So that's your, your dirty pirate look. That's just the way it is. You look fantastic. If you've been following step by step, high five, guys. Yeah, high fives. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I think I think that looks really good, actually. So bronzer would probably work. I don't know. I don't own a bronzer yet. I'm buying one when I do my Jack Sparrow cosplay. God willing, this year. He's complicated, guys. I've been working on him for a long time. All right. So you've done that. You look great. Let's do your eyebrows. It's my brow drama palette thing. It's got these colors in it. Make sure your brows are like brushed and you take this brush with the brow pointy end on it and again, don't judge me too harshly in the comments, por favor, I am not a big makeup human being as you have known. And you just bring it in and you darken your eyebrows so you can have that sinister eyebrow thing that Colin's so famous for. He seems like a sweet guy. Like I would definitely like to meet Colin O'Donoghue down the road. Can you see a difference in my eyebrows yet? Basically, you want to go, you want to leave it a little bit natural at the front. There's also things you can use like highlighter and stuff to really make them pop. 
Obviously, I'm not. This is not that tutorial because this is called a may a very basic makeup tutorial. Not a very fancy. I can teach you contouring makeup tutorial. Maybe in like 2020, I'll have learned that stuff. But right now, it's only 2018, and all I can do is make myself look like a pirate. <laughs> and you, coincidentally. Ah, uh, look at the difference. The difference is fantastic. I love it. I love it. Okay. See, the guys, this is one of those things I want to get more into makeup, but. Ugh, time, man, time. So I just basically focus on it for cosplay. Plus, it's a life hack. Honestly, guys, it's a life hack. If you don't wear that much makeup, when you do, you like are you, you it like shines better. And then if you don't wear a ton of makeup, and then you just decide not to wear makeup one day, people are like, "Hey, you're still like not." They don't go like, "Hey, you look sick. Are you okay?" Like they're just used to it. So it's it's fun. It's fun. I love my chapstick, my mascara, and my eyeshadow. And beyond that. Anything I can do for cosplay. So when your eyebrows are dark enough for you, and this is personal preference, mine are naturally really dark. This might not work for someone who isn't. They might need a better eyebrow tutorial. Luckily for you, YouTube is full of those. All right, so I pulled out a brow liner. I need a little bit, and I just kind of filled in a little more to give me that extra oomph. All right, so this is this is this is essentially it. I would say I don't think I have to do any more to my face. If if you want to look like Once Upon a Time's Colin O'Donoghue, Captain Hook, Killian Jones look for a basic female version cosplay, this is how you do it. Nice and simple. Let me tell you how it works on my ship. I make the demands, you follow them. Or, in this case, I could show you how to do Killian Jones makeup for a female cosplay of him and you could follow that. It's a lot friendlier. But anyway, so now you know how to put together your own makeup look for Killian Jones. Femme cosplay version. I'll leave a tutorial for the hook down below. I'm not the tutorial, the link to the tutorial. I followed somebody's really, really awesome tutorial and I, I got a really great hook out of it. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. Um, yeah, so to pull off your Killian Jones look, let me know if you guys use this. Any tips you might have, anything I can do better if I do another makeup tutorial, except for, you know, generally know more about makeup. I already know that one, guys, it's okay. Oh, also, I caught a glimpse of myself in a mirror with different lighting. And my face and my chest are like two different colors. So final note on this makeup tutorial. It's a little difficult when you have a hook, but I think you'd be able to pull it off. Take that brown eyeshadow, take this beautiful soft brush, and make sure when you bring it down to your neck, you also bring it down to your chest because you want to make sure that you all your like exposed skin um, would be exposed to the sun on a pirate ship as well on the Jolly Roger. And you want to, uh, you know, pull off that look. So just, you know, you get the idea. Just add more to this general area of your body, whatever's showing. And uh, yeah, so, all right, good luck with your cosplays, guys. I'm excited to see what you come up with. And oh, uh, this coat, hot topic. Look. I just love it so very much. I mean, look at this thing. But it's perfect for this cosplay, and it'll really bring it out to life, especially if you want to do something on a budget or out of your closet. So enjoy, guys. Um, let me know how your cosplays turn out. Whatever you want to do with your hair. The last, first time I did it, I wore it down. Now I'm thinking I kind of like it better back. You know, you can get a wig if your hair color doesn't match his that well, but mine's brown. His is brown. They're different browns, but they're close enough. So, yeah, great, great. Good luck with your cosplays, guys. God bless. I'll see you next time. Enjoy, and I hope you liked my basic makeup tutorial and maybe learned something. <laughs> okay, bye. I know makeup like the back of my... Well, you know.